game of love. So this is going to be so much fun because we're going to introduce you to four of the most incredible couples of Cider Dan and see really how well they know each other. We want you to shout out. We want you to have a good time as well. Let's put our hands together and welcome our first guest, couple number one, Executive Chef Neil and Matt. such good care of us all around the ship and his beautiful wife, our hotel general manager, Hank and Crystal. Of course, our ship is a floating hotel, but it's also a ship, so we have to have someone drive her. Please put your hands together for Captain Frank and Alexandra. You know them, you love them, you couldn't eat or drink without them. We have our beverage manager, Edmund, and his wife, Josephine. <laughs> Please take a whiteboard and a marker. We are going to ask a series of questions, of course, for each of our couples. They are to write down the answer, and then we are going to see how well they know each other. It's simple, it's easy, nothing to stress about. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, our first question is, couples, when and where did you meet? When and where did you meet? With couple number one, Chef and Mouse. Please turn your answers to our audience. Mouse says, January 22nd on the Osterdam. Oh, February, February. 22nd on the Osterdam. Are you sure you're to sing? <laughs> this is going to start off good. <laughs> one month off. Denied. Well, should we give them one point since they got the Osterdam? All right. One point. Look at Hank's already like, that's cheating. <laughs> All right, couple number two, Crystal. When and where did you meet? Um, the Affledorm. I don't know how to say that. Augustus, 1981. Oh, and Hank, August of 1981. Oh, it's a match. August of 1981. Yes, and by the way, your husband said August 25th. He had the date and everything. Yeah. Wow. Oh. <laughs> well done. All right, two points for Hank and Crystal. Couple number three. When and where did you meet? Alexandra? 2013, 15th November, New Amsterdam. Ah, and Captain says? I got November 13th on New Amsterdam. They get it. Two yeah. points. For <laughs> well done. And couple number four, Josephine, let's see what you say. Airport Amsterdam 2007. Ooh, and Airport Amsterdam 2007. <laughs> All right, so we're doing good so far. On a scale of one to ten. Ooh, eight as well. Girls, there's a theme. He also has eight. He said ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> Exactly. Well done, sir. There's going to be trouble on this side of the stage. Oh. oh. All right. Um, let's go here. Couple number two. Please turn your answers to the audience on a scale of one to ten. Ten for Crystal. Eight slash ten for Hank. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> oh. It's a fail. Day. I gotta go middle of the road here. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> okay. Suddenly, Chef is sweating over here. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, on a scale of one to ten, what do we say, Mouse? Uh, eight out of ten or infinity? Okay. And Chef says nine. Ooh. What could she have done better? Oh, that look. <laughs> Wayne was included. So. What? <laughs> The wine was included. The wine was included. All right. So who are we giving points to? No, 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 no points for that one. Oh, we got to practice our kissing, friends. Okay. So how would you describe your time in the sheets? Mouse, you are saying? 
A and B, depending on how much time we have. Ah! Time we have. Ah! And chef. Fast or furious, depending on the time. That's a match. I think that's a match. Well done. All right. Crystal, how would you describe time between the sheets? Fast. fast and furious. Yes. And Hank? Uh, fast and furious, however. There is always a however in my case. However, <laughs> it's mostly in the show. Ah. It is getting hot in here. <laughs> that's a match for Hank and Crystal. Alexandra, B. Oh, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Captain? Uh, wishful thinking, fast and furious. <laughs> but, but, Steady. Oh! What do you think? Should we give him the points? Yes, all right. All right, last but not least, <laughs> Josephine. Slow and steady. <laughs> Edmund? Slow and steady. Yeah, first thing that you touch in the morning. I, I ought to say, Crystal, um, that is what I ought to say. Uh, but I, I do actually touch Crystal always right next to me to make sure she's there. So, uh, okay. And she is. Uh, yeah. And she is. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yay! Crystal said me as well. Well done. All right, Captain. First thing that you touch in the morning. I don't want to wake up Alexandra. How much I like to touch her. Uh huh. But I touch my watch. Your watch. To see how what time it is. Okay. <laughs> Alexandra, what's the first thing he touches? My arm or my face. Oh, yeah. after the watch. Yes. <laughs> okay. And Edmund, for you? Her butt. <laughs> Game. My feet, your feet, because, because we sleep opposite side most of the time, like opposite because oh, my feet is always uh, cold, so I told him, can you sleep there and then not just to touch my feet? <laughs> <laughs> right? feet, it's all good. So we have a winner with Chef and Mouse and a winner with Chef, if you were an animal, what would you be? Panda. Panda and Mouse? He is my panda. Panda! <laughs> Hank, if you were an animal, what would you be? I would be a mouse, Speedy Gonzalez. I think badly, badly, badly. <laughs> Speedy Gonzalez and Crystal? No, totally wrong. Dog or fly? No, a dog or a fly? Not a mouse. Fly? <laughs> a fly, really? If you were an animal, what would you be? Meow. A lion. <laughs> a lion? Oh, a lion! Oh. Nice oh. Well done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Thomas. And Edmund, if you were an animal? I'll be a bird. A bird. Josephine? I'm wrong. He's, <laughs> he's a dog, protective and loyal. Oh. oh. Protective and loyal dog. No points for you. Driving. She, tr she tried to kill me and she crashed into a ditch. So. <laughs> <laughs> and now says attempted murder. He said he's right. Right. Why? Because I might have tried to park the car in a ditch while we were still driving. <laughs> oh, while you were still driving? That's a match, yes? Yes. Points for you. <laughs> Hank, what would Crystal's crime be? I am definitely going to be in the doghouse after this one. I can tell you. <laughs> I'm going to say it's shoplifting. Oh! Okay, explanation. Yes. We were, we were on a hike and we were so hungry and at some point got to a place and grabbed something real quick to eat and forgot to pay. It happens. So it could have been sort of like... Okay, that. shoplifting. Crystal, what's your crime? Speeding! Crying? Speeding! Oh, is she like heavy on the pedal? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let, let, let foot crystal, right? Definitely, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, right. No, right. no points no for thing. you. <laughs> Captain Alexandra's crime. It was a really difficult one to think of. Yes. I know she gets sometimes um, a penalty, a fine for speeding. So that is the closest I can imagine 
that it will be something like that, uh, driving fast and furious. Driving and I fast. am just holding on and trying to pray. And she says, driving so fast uh. as well. That's a bad. Josephine's crime? I would say because she's always loud, so alarm and scandal. <laughs> alarm and scandal! Alarm and scandal! And Josephine, your crime? I'm gonna, if somebody tries to steal him, I'm gonna fight for my man until I die. Oh. Should we give him the points for that answer? Heck yeah. I think, which would he be? Josephine? Sleepy? Sleepy! Sleepy. That's long. You said with a question mark? Sleepy. And men? Grumpy. Grumpy. <laughs> Sleepy and grumpy. All right. Alexandra, define your husband as one of the dwarves. The builder or handyman. Okay. The maintenance guy. The, Which the maintenance one? guy. Is there one? Which well, one is that? We're, we're, show, okay. You cho cho choose this list. Do you need Which one? <laughs> Dopey. <laughs> Which one? What's the <laughs> Happy, she says the first one. Captain, which one are you? I'm happy. I'm happy. Six dwarves are named Doc, Flock, Sock, Knock, Hawk, and Mock. <laughs> <laughs> Do we give them the points? No. no. Ooh, tough crowd. All right, and Mouse. He'd be grumpy. He'd be grumpy. Grumpy it okay. is. And what I read? Um, sleepy, sneezy, dopey, doc, happy, grumpy, and the seventh one. Which? <laughs> Which is bashful. what neither Thomas nor I are, which is bashful. bashful, right? All right, so point one. All right, Josephine, his favorite condiment, people. <laughs> Get your mind out of the gutter. Yes? Chili, Chili spicy. spicy, and then? None. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Condiment. <laughs> Tabasco, ketchup, mustard, chili. Say chili. Chili! That's a point for them! <laughs> Alright, Alexandra. Your husband's favorite secret sauce. Yeah, it's not yeah, it's um, um coconut I wrote, but it is wrong, right? Because I understood it wrong. Okay. But coconut. Coconut, yeah. but he likes to taste. That, oh he likes to taste coconut. coconut. Okay. Captain? There is always coconut in the satay peanut sauce. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is that true? Is yes. there coconut in the satay oh, peanut Asia. sauce? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> coconut is a man who wants to keep his job. All right, winner for you! Yay! All right, Crystal. Buy your days. Mayonnaise. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> I was going to say it's uh, amino acids from Brex, and we call it pss, pss. Oh! And why, why do we call it pss, pss? Because why? it comes in a little spray bottle, and at some point you go pss, pss. And then. <laughs> anyway, is that too much information? Yes! <laughs> no points for you. Ah, oh, here we go. Mouse! He likes to spice things up. Sriracha! So Spicy man, Sriracha! Woo! Alright, get your dance move. Happy foot dance. The happy foot dance. Happy foot. Happy foot, foot dance. Every time she gets food she enjoys, she dances. Oh, so all right. And now she said? If we have to dance, it's just a slight shake or bump or ever from the hips. Oh. I don't dance. Oh, really? <laughs> all right. Bonus point, chef. Show happy us the happy foot dance. Let's go. 
Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, Hank. So, so, if we dance, when we dance, as we must dance, uh, th those would be uh, little hip steps of joy in between. Oh. So, if, if, you know, if, if we were to dance, then all of a sudden she's so happy I'm finally dancing, and you get, oh! Yeah. And I'm totally out of heat, right? I mean, I'm, I'm lost already to begin with, and then I'm even doubly lost. It's great. All right. And it looks cute. Okay, Crystal? Happy hipple, yes. Uh, yeah, let's see it. Get up and dance, folks. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Show us, show us. <laughs> Wait, this isn't oh, like a hippie dance, you. All right. And Captain, what is Alexandra's signature dance move? Um, go something like this. Oh, oh. Oh, Captain is gonna dance. Hold on. You wanna sign? <laughs> signature dance move. I'll say she loves uh, ballroom dancing, so that's what I know. Ballroom dancing. Ballroom dancing, Josephine. Chicken, Chicken dance. We got to see this one. <laughs> 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 Feel free, ballroom and chicken. Come on, here we go. Let's start in your lives together over here with Mouse and Chef. Mouse? Um, getting engaged and meeting the in-laws. Getting engaged and meeting the in-laws. Chef, you said... She said yes. She said yes <laughs> in December. Is that a match? Yay! All right. I'm still, still writing Fast and Furious. Hank, greatest accomplishment as a couple? A genuine wholehearted friendship. Genuine, wholehearted friendship. And Crystal? I wrote down finding each other again after our time in Australia when we were, you know, growing apart, do all the hard work, and then we found each other again. That's a match to me, yes? Woo! Finding each other again, Captain. Greatest accomplishment as a couple? The notebook is too small. <laughs> that's a, that's so, a point. Right so there. a compass, what I've written, is so much. So, what I only said, we found the love of our lives. Oh. With everything that goes with that. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> hero. Yes. Alexandra? To be all the time together now. All the time together now. Do we give them the points? <laughs> uh, I think our uh, best accomplishment is by having our son, Gabriel, who is very loving and caring. Your son, Gabriel. For me, we were able to create a happy, um, happy family and a home to cherish. And I have a card for him because this is Valentine's Day, and I want to embarrass him for the rest of. <laughs> so I just want to tell him that um, uh, thank you for loving me. And if there's any uh, chance that God will give me another life, I will still choose you to be my forever and happy Valentine's Day. Oh! 